Oh my goodness. Hi, dorks. Oh my... My computer just crashed, so I'm gonna fix this. Holy cow. Uh... Da, ba, da. Hold, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on! Studio mode. Go to my other thing. Oh my gosh. My computer just crashed right as I was sitting in... There we go. As I was sitting in the I'm about to go live room, computer crashed, like right then. Hi, it's Unchowder. I'm recovering from a crash. Hooray, it's time for Dyson Sphere. Hopefully that's the one crash of the day. Hopefully that's the... Hopefully we just got it out of the way and that doesn't happen again. Um, I think everything is working properly here. My goodness, technology, am I right? Am I right? We're here to play Dyson Sphere. We're here to make fictional technology that actually works sometimes. Hooray! Also, there's a cat right there. She is fully unconscious. I'm sure I'm gonna wake her up uh, any second now, though. She'll she'll get in our way. No worries there. Um, but yeah, we're playing Dyson Sphere, and we are we're getting into it. We have a sphere in progress. We have more than just the one ring, right? We're 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 attaching our sails. It's getting bigger. Um, so now it's just a matter of kind of scaling everything up, defending what we have so far. We were attacked by this, the hive in our Dyson Sphere system twice last stream. So I think that's just going to keep happening. They're probably going to like start attacking harder even uh, as time goes on. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the defense. Um, but also one thing that I want to address today is pro proliferators, proliferators. Um, they're a thing that are in this game and I haven't used yet. Um, I've used them previously, but like not to great effect. Um, they're, you know, they're cool and all, but they're not like the most crucial thing. They're like a bonus thing. We're going to get some bonuses. Um, it, it's going to be a, it's a thing that we make and then we apply to other ingredients and then jobs that use ingredients with proliferators on them get bonuses to them. So we're, we're getting bonuses with proliferators. So that's my goal today. I want to get that set up. Um, there's a couple more exotic materials that I want to get our hands on. Um, but that's kind of the main deal. That and it needs power needs to keep ramping up. But we're, we're working on that. Our Dyson Sphere is growing quite a good rate. Um, so we're, we're charging our batteries and it's going to it's going to be great. Um, so, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's on for today. Um, today's episode is brought to you by birds. Chirp, chirp. And by you, click on those buttons, like it and follow and subscribe and join the Discord, hanging out, lurking, doing all that stuff. That is that is the, the that is the song in my beak right now. Uh, so I appreciate all you hanging out and all you lovely people. And and let's get into it. I think I think hopefully all this should just still work, right? It's just gonna pop. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so we're gonna continue, and I. I think it's gonna hear the audio. That should all be fine. Uh, can I... what actually... what makes sounds? No, I don't think... you might not be getting that sound. Well then. Let me go <laughs> fix this again. Oh. oh my goodness. And then if I resume it... there we go. Now there's sound. Not that it's like dramatic, but there is some. Okay. Here we are. We are on our launching planet, right? And there's our Dyson Sphere. That's the start of our sphere. Look at that. You can see we got this nice big line going all the way around this star. And then we have these panels of solar sails attaching and growing out from there. That's where we're at. And this is what our design looks like so far. This is what we're building. Um, we're at one gigawatt for the whole deal. Looks like all, all. We have every single, like, as as we are launching more sales, they're just immediately getting, immediately just going, going in, right? They're all, they're all just going to attach. They're getting shot from the planet, going into orbit very briefly, and they're all just going to go find a spot to latch into that, that whole thing. And they're not going to expire anymore, right? They're just going to keep keep on attaching. Um, and we are we're requesting 1.06 gigawatts. Wow. So we are actually requesting the full power of our station. It is interesting that it feels like... I wonder if a solar sail in a swarm 
gives more power than us than that same sail in the sphere. So we were we were verging on like two gigawatts when we had a big old swarm going. So I wonder I wonder how that works. Oh well. Um that's all fine. So there you can see there there they're going. And then if we look out here, we can see in theory. Maybe go over to where it's a little darker, maybe. <laughs> not that that's <laughs> not that that does anything. Um, you can see them like attaching, right? You can see where's our yeah. So they're 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 getting launched, and then they're just kind of filtering out into their little lines and finding places to plug in. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's where we're at. Um, we just at the very end of last stream we defended against a hive attack and it went very well we we blew them up with our new fancy missiles that was very good um while we're here one thing that we've been doing we we've, we've upgraded our missiles right we're producing the fancier missiles but uh most of our planets still have the old missiles set up um so this is, these are the old missiles so i want to say this is going to local demand and remote supply because I have a, a station back home that is pulling them back in, right? Um, so then I'm even gonna go, we can take all the ones on the ground here. I'm say reverse, reverse, reverse. And then we're just gonna ship all those back home and they'll get upgraded directly back into the fancy ones, the better ones. And we especially want that out here because they're gonna they're going to defend our planets. These are very important planets for us. Oh goodness, come on. There we go. Cool. So you all get reversed again. And then you need to get sent off. Can we just kind of choose this? There we go. So now clear. And then we replace this with the better ones. Uh, remote demand and we'll just take we'll just keep you know I guess I want to have a little bit here we'll, we'll keep no 500 is, 500 is plenty 500 is plenty uh, we'll just do that and then this needs to reverse and look at that it just automatically turned into the thing it needs to be um, so yeah that'll that'll work just fine we have upgraded our missiles um, then, and then what? I think that's all we needed to do here. What is this? Is this the here? Yeah, so now we have a level one hive here, and it's just gonna keep, it's just gonna have so much threat now. Um, but look, we're, we're launching all of our rockets. Uh, we can probably make some more launchers. We should make some more, uh, some more e the, the rail, the, the sail ejectors. Should make all more more of all that stuff, um, but you know, one thing at a time. Um, and then I want to go back over to our first planet, right there, and I believe that's where we have something injured, right? So I need to I need to upgrade our our missiles there too. So I'm going to do that while we're here, and then we're going to go home. And that's how it works. Look at this. I'm gonna go fly by all these all these uh, sails going in. It looks so cool. I think this game is beautiful. And they're gonna do a ground assault on, on our other planet too. Look at this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Of course, our, our receiver planet is just right up in here. <laughs> it's right there. It's just right. It's right there. It's perfect. Uh, oh, where's this? Let's do this first before I forget. Single thing that they've damaged.
Oh, and look, oh, they have air units now. Is that new? What are these? Are those guardians? Rangers? We've seen rangers for sure. Okay. Let's go upgrade our missiles first, and then we're going to come back and, and kick these off. Um, of course, they're just about to, to launch an attack, but um, I, want our, I want our better missiles. I think that's going to help us, especially as these things get scarier. Still just a level one. Um, so yeah, reverse, reverse, reverse. Uh, this will going to remote supply, local demand. And then hopefully they, they figure that out. Is there not enough room somewhere? Uh, weird. Well, I guess I can put, I guess I can put them just right here since we have an empty spot at the moment. Uh, I want to remote demand, local supply. You're just, oh, you're just out of ships. Is that all? Okay. Um, that is fine. We'll just say that this is now going to be better ones or do I need to how do I change you reverse these and then yeah the better missiles there we go but now we're not gonna get any right we're we're gonna have to wait hmm maybe what I'll do I'll take Take one of my stacks, just to get us started. I can always grab more at home. And there, they are just about to attack. Maybe we'll let them attack first. That looks like it got... Yeah, they all, they all got missiles. That's all good. So now we're gonna get... Now we're gonna be able to see those supersonic missiles in effect or a ground attack. But we've only seen them in space so far. They're they're going to attack like right now. What happens if I attack them while they're attacking? I wonder. 0.5 away, 0.6. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right, I have more signal towers. Come on, bring it on. There they go. They're just going to go... Oh, here they come. Cool. Yeah, they're just going to come straight for us. Why not? <laughs> Bring it on. Was that it? Was that it? That's all you got? Well, you're in for a surprise now, aren't you? Because I'm not done. May have been enough for you, but that was not enough for me. These missiles are definitely chewing through them a lot faster. Holy cow. Look at all that. Look at all that. Yeah. Yeah. Just grab all... Give me your junk. Give me your junk. Are they... Yeah, they're... I mean, they're going down. They have so much, though. They always have so much now. Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> so much stuff! Holy cow! They, they'll end eventually, right? There is there is a limit to how many ships they have. Pretty sure. Um, let's get another, another signal tower that can actually get their buildings. I'll kind of stand in between the two of them. Of course, now they, they really want to hit that one. Oh no, don't do it! Ugh. Screw you. No, come on. Okay, fine. 
Well, that wasn't good, was it? I just blew up a couple signal towers. That's fine, though. I do have another one right here. They do look slightly different, right? They have like a, a blue, a blue front. I think the other ones were just yellow. Hello. Oh, hey, they've got air support. They sure do. Hi. Yeah, I got that tower got a little too close to those turrets, I think. But I'm like, they're gonna run out of ships eventually, right? I don't know if, like, do they do they produce ships that fast, or do they just have like an internal, an internal storage? I wonder. So it seems like they do eventually run out, but they're not really this time. Look how much litter. They are so... they litter so much. Yeah, they really... they really want to hit me with all those lasers. Fortunately, our shields are, are doing a lot better than they used to, but still, even still, they're going like halfway through my shields. Can they can they start dying now? Uh, if I grab this, does that disconnect us? It might have disconnected us. There we go. Okay. So then I want to I want to sneak it closer. Oh, did that not? Why do I not have one now? I just disassembled a signal tower. Now I don't have one. Can I make one? Can make a couple. Considering all the litter I've grabbed. Oh, is it because my, my inventory's full? Jeez, okay. Um oh look, a whole stack of this uh of this stuff. Is there anything there's stuff in here I don't want? How do I get rid of my junk? Uh where are we? Oh, I, I dropped I dropped the signal towers. Hilarious. Okay. Air support swarm does seem thinner. Yeah. It, I mean, it's thinner, but holy cow. Um, let's see if I can. Let's see. Well, let's see. I don't I don't have it. They're on the ground there. Okay. How do I just? How do I just delete something? There we go. With the delete key. Duh. Okay. There we go. Now I can drag, grab all this other crap. My god, look at them all. Look at them all. Okay, but now if I put this like here, that can get some of those turrets. Potentially, if we're if we're close enough. Oh my God, no! Leave it alone! Leave it alone! Oh, I see. I have my fleet stuff over here. I haven't seen. I haven't looked at all that at all. It's always so frantic when I'm <laughs> when we're being attacked. Uh, now they're gonna try to hit both of these. No, don't do it! Oh, no! Wow. Okay, so they are they are kind of kicking up a notch here. We can defend, but, like, are they going through... I wonder if I've already gone through my missiles back at my turrets. Because this isn't as many... Oh, give me that back. I don't see as many missiles coming in as I want there to be. There, There is less air support, though. Do I just need to keep blowing them up? Do I just blow them up forever? Jeez. Yeah, we're not getting any missiles from our, from our base now. Okay, hold on. Let's just... And that was just because we didn't get a shipment from from home yet. Holy cow! I just 
Now it's level six. I just, we just leveled that base. <laughs> a whole bunch. Oh. I don't think we've seen a level six base before. I need like a nuke. I need to just like point a nuke at the center of their base and blow up a bunch of those turrets. Yeah, look, we went through all those missiles. We went through a whole stack of missile packs. And, and we're not getting any from home. Why, I wonder? Oh, we sent off the other ones. So that's good, at least. It's probably just because we're using so much of our of our ships for, for batteries. But even then, like we have a ship, but now it's just left. I really need this. I really need that. Um, well, it's they're back up to 20% threat already. That's disconcerting. Okay, are you gonna go get us some missiles, maybe? No, you just went off with more batteries. Okay. Hmm, we might have to come back. This might be a this might be the first base I leave. Holy cow! They only gave us a bunch of loot, but like, I'd rather them just die. See, they're getting like shipments. What are these? It's not a. I don't even get to hover over them. These are guard. Thirty-two guardians. Hmm. Well, there's space fleet expansion. Wow. Well, okay. Um, I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna put put a put another signal tower just right here, just for the sake of defending stuff right here. Um, of course, we don't have any missiles currently, but if they try to do anything, they'll like we should be defended. We should be fine if they do a ground assault, but. I think shipment is the dark fog logistic vessel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping it had like a name or something. Might be wrong, but I think they mostly just deliver resources to the hive. That's kind of what it seems like. I was wondering if um, it seems like all the ground units are built by the ground base, right? We don't see anything in the space hive that is making ground units and delivering ground units. I don't think. Um, maybe this does need to just be a 10, because our ships can now hold 600, so that'd be 60. Yeah, let's, let's, against better judgment, I'm going to leave. We are, look at that though, we're, we're building, we're building, we're going to be back because they're, they're already 10% uh, to another to another hive attack. So that's cool. We're gonna be back. Um, let's go, let's go home. And the, the main thing I wanna deal with today is proliferators. So I think there's gonna be some benefit to that. Uh, but we have to we have to make proliferator juice to do that. So I think that's going to be my first task. Um, in theory, power is just going to kind of slowly get better on its own. We'll have to keep coming back and putting down more ray receivers and battery chargers, um, but we'll do that as needed. Hmm. We should also make an actual fleet for ourselves. I'm upgrading all of our fleet capacities. Yeah, here we go. Unit A, unit B, we have ground and space. Oh, now I can have, we can have two of these destroyers now. Excellent. So yeah, um, I wanna, I wanna make some more, I wanna make some more ships. I wanna make some better ships. Um, maybe if you had some of the other tower types near your signal tower. That's true. Um, 
Like there is something that today there's like there's like shells, right? Maybe that's maybe that's the idea. Um cuz I don't like nothing other than uh I think missiles are the only thing that will use the signal tower's vision for attacking. Where's Where's that one going? But I only had two. Does that go into that's just going out. Okay. There's at least kinetic shells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think the shells will have a much lower range, but I think, I think you're right though. Uh, are there more AOE aren't into towers? Yeah, I think the, I think the shells, um, so we have, since we're just in, we're recharging our batteries, um, there's these, which are, like, these are just, these are just like bullets, right? These are, these are bullets actually just calls them bullets. So I don't think I really care about bullets. Uh, but these, there's plasma turrets, which that's cool. After being stimulated, the matter inside an energy capsule will be in a high energy plasma state, quickly emitted by the plasma turrets accelerator to generate high speed plasma beams. Such beams are extremely penetrating and destructive and can effectively destroy space targets. Oh, neat. That's good to know. Target type versus space. So this only attacks space things. That's interesting. That's a space only thing. Um, but then there's these, these, right? There's implosion cannons. Yeah, these are what use the shells. 280 millimeter shell can cause wide ranging explosive blasts, ex inflict explosive damage to units and facil facilities in the vicinity. Due to its design characteristics, implosion cannons can't be used to attack close targets. Oh. Kinetic and explosive versus ground and air. Range 12 to 58 meters. So yeah, it has a minimum range. And the planetary defense towers are aimed at taking out air support. Planetary defense towers, you mean like... Because these are shields. Laser turret. Laser beams will be emitted to keep strafing energy, strafing enemy units when they enter the defensive range. High temperatures really is it uh, but uh, consume a lot of energy. Yeah. There's ground and air energy weapons. Range on ground defense forty meters. That's pretty good. They're going to consume three megawatts on their own. I mean, the fact that these don't require ammo. I think I like that, just because I can put them down in as long as we're within our power range, which we were going to be because of the signal towers anyway, then these will just these will just hit things, right? And 40 meters seems like a pretty good range. Um, what's like what is a missile range a missile turret's default range is 60. So that's not too bad. Um, and then there's we can get like better shells. There's gravity missiles. There's a third missile. There's a third missile. Oh dear. I don't even know what all those components are. I don't know what that middle component is. Strange matter's negative gravitational pressure is used to warp the surrounding space, thus increasing missile speed. Warping space increases explosive damage. Wow, 10 meter blast radius. That does a hun it's gonna do 160 damage versus right now we're doing 75. It's like twice. It's like double. It's more than double. So that's cool. And then we could also do these if we cared about shells. It's kinetic and blast. I think the lasers. I think I like the idea of these lasers. I think if we do some laser turrets and get some more ships, because um, corvettes are space. Space forces. So these are the small space ones. So we should get some of those anyway. Uh, but the attack drone. I think we want these. I think I want just a bunch of attack drones. So 
and then we'll just keep upgrading all that stuff. Um, right, so then I'm gonna want energy and energy and let's say energy and explosives and then combat drone damage. Um, can I do combat drone durability? Yeah, and our fleet size. Let's do all that. Hey, look, I have a full battery. I could see a ground base with some squadrons of attack drones being helpful. Oh, that's true. We can put down those little bases as well. That's true. Because the size of that fleet's probably going to be bigger than my, like, personal fleet. Very, very true. It's interesting that we're, we're suddenly getting to the point where that's going to be a concern, right? We've been... Uh been pretty lax on the defenses up until now just because we haven't needed to get too intense but i think now we do i think we have reached the intense point now that we're actually building our dyson sphere something that i also want to do this is kind of a wish list item i guess but i want to go back to percy eye um which is a system that we we were on briefly and then kind of abandoned um, I mean, A, I want to go back and, like, clean up all this stuff so that it's, like, out of my, my UI. Um, but I also kind of want to try and farm the fog out there a little bit. And hey, look, we're out of power. Um, I mean, how are we going here? We have our sulfur. We have our cubes. We have, I mean, we have all the things. Oh, except for deuterium. We're going to run out of deuterium. Um, but if we have, I mean, we ha so that means there's not any deuterium to harvest from our collectors. So I think we're going to have to put down more collectors. Um, which is fine. Unless it's just a power thing. Do I need to... Do we need to power them more? Of course, we, we just don't have power. We just don't have power. Oh, look. All strange matter. Oh, definitely going to limit <laughs> the strange matter. Don't want, don't want, uh, don't want too much of that. That stuff is kind of expensive and power hungry. Yeah, let's just, let's just let that even out. Um, and then over here with the batteries, we are, we are discharging, we're like, we're burning deuterium fuel. You know, just, or, or are we? Or well, not currently. Okay, because now we have batteries. Interesting. Must have just got a shipment. Yeah, okay. We're just like, we're constantly going to be out of batteries. Going to be in and out and in and out of batteries forever. Um, but when we have batteries, we have enough power. And these are discharging at their maximum. Holy cow. Um, so then, in anticipation of needing more, right, we're gonna, I'm gonna put down a bunch of stuff that requires a bunch more, bunch more power. Everything that I do on this planet will increase our power demands. I'm just gonna put down more dischargers now. A lot of this looks fine though, right? We're, we're we're making stuff. We're making our look at this. We got rockets. We're making rockets. I want to go over to the missiles and make sure that we're actually still making missiles, so they end up out there eventually. We have some chips. What's holding up our chips? Anything? Or no, it's circuit boards. Oh, we're finally running low on circuit boards. That hasn't been the thing yet. It's just a different thing every time, isn't it? And circuit boards are needing copper. Goodness, okay.
We might be, we might need to go find another source of copper. We might, how much copper is even on our planet anymore? 46,000. <laughs> We're kind of out of copper on this planet. Um, iron looks fine. We have copper ore. Do I just need to make, we just need to be smelting more copper. Wow, okay. Okay, we can do that. Left space for it and everything. Of course, I'm just gonna grab this one. And you, can you fit? Just barely, wow. Oh, I did good there, didn't I? How many, okay. Copper ore seems like a good target for proliferation. I, we're gonna proliferate a bunch of stuff. Um. I mean, or... Yeah, I mean, that could make sense. I was thinking more some of the, the more complicated end products. Um, I, I was reading very briefly on the wiki. I try, I've been trying not to read the wiki too much, um, just so I don't like over-optimize everything. But I, I, I've used... Uh, I've used proliferators so rarely that I, I wanted to look up and make sure there wasn't anything I was missing. Um, but one thing that I, I didn't know, um, here, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do this. Um, you can do, you can do proliferators on science cubes and get like bonus research out of it. Um, so I think we're going to do that, especially with, like, the green cubes. Um, okay, so then that's fine. And then you're just... Come on. You're going to go in that way. And then or comes out this way. Like that. Um, but also, um, I want to do it on the batteries. Uh, as they're charging, because I think you get either faster charging or like bonus charging uh, out of that. Oh, this can all be Mark Two, Mark Three, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, and then yeah. That's that's some copper. Do we need more? Is it is it even more than that that we need? I guess that wouldn't surprise me. As long as we have more, as long as we have the ore for it. And when we don't, we'll get more. I guess I could make these longer even. Maybe we'll do that first. Because clearly these can... I think they can take a little bit more. Let's do like something like this. Seems fine, right? We're getting almost full conveyor belts of, of product coming out of that. That seems fine. Oh, the one thing that I never, the thing that I would not have ever thought about that we're definitely going to have to do is you can proliferate proliferators. Because of course you can. I mean, that still seems fine. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. Um... 
You look at our copper ingots. Yeah, that's that's some more. Let's kind of let's assume that that's gonna help fix that. Um, I mean, that's quite a f <laughs> that's that's some copper. And like the ore, the ore is clearly not the problem. Um. And then oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do diamonds. Proliferators use diamonds. Oh, and the and the graphite. Okay. We need to upgrade everything. Just gotta just gotta do everything. Not that that's all that surprising, I guess. Let's do like this. One there and one there. These are just tier ones. Am I out of sorters? I'm out of sorters! Oh. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um. Hello, hello, hello! How's it going? Welcome in. We are... We're upgrading everything. Um. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna grab some more sorters. I think this is gonna have to find a new spot, I think. Um, maybe we'll move that over here. Uh, but... We're we're upgrading. Um, I think I think the thing I want to do today is proliferators, um, which is going to be a whole funky thing. Um, oh, I wanted to check on our on our missiles, right? See our supersonic missiles. We don't have any supersonic missiles here. That's gonna be a problem. What are you missing? You're missing processors. Okay. Well, I did just help processors. I think. But yikes, we're 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 blowing up enemies with processors now. Ouch. Okay, and then are you you are satisfied now, right? You're you're getting all your stuff. Let's make this a tier three. That's basically gonna put us back to our, our circuit board production levels that we were at previously, right? Or no, that's better. I go back an hour. Yeah, okay. I think we helped that. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna leave that be and assume that that's gonna help our processors. Not bad. I missed the start of the stream as I thought it was 9.50, but it was 10.50. Oh, dang. To be fair, I've been driving for like four hours today and just got in. That's fair. Driving is a good a good way to... Lose all your energy, right? There, there's some processors. Just make, just make a bunch of these. I want two more. Um, was it? Was it? I was gonna say, is it fun driving? But it, f driving, I don't find driving fun. <laughs> Forty processors each. My gosh. Do one more. Okay. Don't dislike it, but I find after two hours I get a bit grumpy. Yeah. Yeah. Long, long driving is is a bit of a chore. I think. Had a good audiobook though, so it's not bad. Cool. What what audiobook? I like audiobooks. I've, I've, I feel like I've read more, read, I've listened to more audiobooks than I've read actual physical books in the last half, several years. Specifically because of driving. So I definitely get that. Let's just fill all that in. And then I'm gonna just... Copy. Thank hi. Let's do this. Um, of course there's gonna be little holes in here, right? Oh whatever. Uh 
I had a good audiobook. Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I already read that. Oh, this is like on, on the edge, right? So it's going to be weird, probably. But we'll just do that. We'll just replicate it. And then I think... Like, these don't move so fast that we need, like, a bunch of really high-flow conveyors, right? I think I can just do some splitters. All right, I just want... I want some splitters. On the down yesterday, I listened to Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. Oh, yes, excellent. Uh, and started back... Started Witches Abroad, also by Pratchett. Oh! Person after my own heart. I have listened to the entire Discworld series on audiobook, and they are all so fantastic. Those are some of my favorite books in all, all the world. I uh, never read them before, so I'm working through them. Perfect, yeah. Uh, it wasn't so long ago that I, that I listened to them for the first time also. Um, I guess, well, I, I say that, but it's probably been 10 years now. They're superb. They're all superb, and they, like... I love how different they all are from each other. Like, I love the witches. I love... Um, I love the watch. I love Rincewind, and I love... Uh, all the Tiffany Aching ones. I don't know if you've gotten that far. Um, those are those are later, but... Um, oh, they're all... They're all good. They're all good. So you're gonna go here, and then this is just gonna go across like this. And up and in, and up and in. And then this comes down like that. And then this is all just gonna merge together. Like that. I think that's all we gotta do. Color of magic, light fantastic, equal rights, more sorcery. Weird Sisters, Pyramids, Guards, Guards, Eric, Moving Pictures, Reaper Man. Yeah. So far I've read. Okay. I was listening to them in 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 order, in release order. Um so I know Color of Magic and Light Fantastic are the first two. And I don't remember I don't remember the order after that. Um But they're all they're all good. Uh, wasn't so sure, but I really enjoyed Reaper Man. Mort I didn't enjoy as much. That's fair. I liked Mort. Mort was a little bit different though, wasn't it? Pyramid's my favorite so far. I'm having a hard time remembering that one. Perpetually remember, re recommend Hogfather. Hogfather's great. Hogfather has a movie, even. Um, Alright, so then... In theory... We have we have more discharging capacity, even if we're not getting more more batteries yet. But that will help. Looking forward to that one. It's good. It is really good. Um. All right. So we have power basically sorted. Oh, I need to get. <laughs> speaking of sorted, I need to get more sorters. Um, but I think we're gonna start making proliferators. And we're gonna start plugging them into things. I want to have them so that I can start shipping them places. Um, it's like um, I want to do them to like solar sails. Um, I think solar sails can use them. Um, but we could do that. We could do that like here even. Um, so let's do that, and then I could probably use more. Nope. Come on. When building a conveyor belt, more of everything, right? Starting point uh, yeah, I know how to do conveyor belts. Excuse you. <laughs> I know how to do conveyor belts at this point. Um, I'm gonna jump that. Um, apparently they recently announced a Discworld t tabletop RPG. Interesting. Hmm, I would totally play that. I wonder how that's gonna work. Okay, this is all still going good. You're all still, you're all still good over here. Look, we we got copper now. I think that's going to help. Hopefully, that will help with all of our processors, processors, and such. Um, 
And then we'll, we'll put down all these sorters. Okay. And then I'm gonna do upgraded conveyors here. Ordered a couple of the models to see if they're any good. They'll need assembly and painting. That much excites me more. Cool. For what? I think I missed what the... Which models? Oh, look, our batteries. Ugh. Um. Oh, and then like, I need to, I need to upgrade these, right? Yeah, okay. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Let's do these sorters. We'll all get upgraded. Uh, and then our belts, like that. Uh, and really, this was probably in the same situation, right? There we go. Then it could at least use its full capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of the models, a couple of the models. I don't know which model you're talking about, um, but I might have just missed something. Anyway. Um, proliferators. Yeah, now, when we have power, things go, things are going good when we have power. We just don't always have power. Um, right. Proliferators. So there's three tiers, and we already have all three of them unlocked. And each one's a precursor to the next one, right? So there's Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. Uh, so Mark 1 is just coal. So that's pretty, pretty simple. Second one is... Mark 1 plus diamonds, and then Mark 2 plus carbon nanotubes. That's a bit of a thing. Uh, but these are all made in chemical plants. And so we're gonna need a spot for them, right? Um. I kind of want to keep them. Like, this is kind of our. These are all our forges. Thought they were made by assemblers. I mean, it's saying. A oh, fuel type. Made an assembler. Okay. They're fuel. Apparently, they are. They, you can use them as fuel. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so you make them in assemblers. They count as chemical fuel. Whatever that means. Where do you, where are you getting censored? Are you putting in, you doing links or something? I don't know what's, I don't know what the source of, of that censoring is. It's not necessarily on purpose on my end. <laughs> um, oh, we have, and we have some space over here that we can kind of reclaim. We also got. I mean, there's just space down here. The trading cards are basically flat models if you think about it. It's true. That is true. Maybe we'll come down here. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just find a new new land. Um, so at the very least, I'm gonna want a a local locals uh, deal. Uh, right. I need I need these. That's that's gonna be a thing we're gonna have to do. There's a that's and that's gonna involve going. All the way out to a um, our black hole, right? Our black hole is traditionally the black hole is very far away. 
Uh, F-top, Ace-type, I swear I've seen it. I think there's only one. There's a neutron star. In my experience, each, each map will only have one actual black hole. It's usually very far away. White dwarves. White dorks. Where is it? Where are you? I know you exist. There's a red giant. I wish I could control F. Where... where are you? It's like a slightly different color, right? Of course, it barely helps me. There it is. Uh, we'll keep this one. So this is 20 light years away. So we actually, that's closer than our, <laughs> than our Dyson Sphere. Um, so we're going to have to do that. At some point. Okay, and then through the looking glass now, it's <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this is proliferation land. It's gonna be essentially three reproduction lines, right? Um, maybe I'll say we'll come up like here. Of course, there's like oil just right there. I don't care. You go down. Um, so we're gonna want one production line of assemblers with one ingredient. Alright, I'll do a one, and then the other twos are both two ingredients. Yeah. And I'm not even gonna bother putting like Mark 1 and 2 proliferators on the network or anything. It's, this is all just gonna turn straight into tier 3 stuff. Alright, did I already kinda... Oh, we can, we can do this. This is fine. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. And then another one here. Here we will do Mark One Juice. And that requires coal. To hook into our power somewhere. Oh, we're being assaulted. Uh, but it's a uh, 60 units. Wow. So the the place we were at, at the start, that that base is now attacking. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be fine. I mean, if they're not getting missiles, that could be actually be very bad. Oh no, they're going. They're going down. They're getting hit. Hopefully. Hopefully not blowing up too much of my stuff. I mean, now I have I have more da I have more damaged things, but none of it's critical. There's one left. I don't like that. I don't want I don't want there to just be one out there. <laughs> I would like it to die, please. Now this is just general power things. Uh, oh, need more iron for chests. Okay. 
Frank is delighted I'm back. Excellent. Oh, and I love the emote. I love the Frank emote. Does Jezebel get sad when you go out? Yes. She gets sad when I lock the door for an hour. <laughs> when I leave in the middle of the day and come back like two hours later, she's like, why? Why have you done this? Uh, iron is over here. And she didn't use to quite be quite so dramatic. I think the fact that I'm home all the time now means that it's really unfamiliar to her when I leave for any amount of time. Frank has been known to rip the carpet up by the door when I've locked him out. Yep. Yep. Fortunately, the space outside of the door here uh, is is uh, linoleum. <laughs> okay, so we have coal here. Coal comes out like so. And then mark one juice comes out and in. And then you need diamonds. Oh, come on. Our cat loses it when we're gone too long. Yeah. Just. Yeah. <laughs> I and and I feel like you're in kind of a similar situation. You're, you're home. They have a person there so frequently. It's like, wh why am I alone? I've been alone for ten minutes. What's going on? Diamonds are here. Demand. And then this is gonna go like like that. And then this is mark three juice. Which is gonna require nanotubes. Holy cow. Uh, so here is nanotubes are in here somewhere. There you are. Oh, I should put some ships in here, right? And we'll just, yeah, why not? A full stack, why not? Now, I want this to come out and then go in. And now they're, are they still attacking? They're blowing, they're blowing up something. Oh, but they died, so they died. But they blew up two signal towers. Some of this stuff is at, you know, a different system that I don't care about, right? I don't know which is where. I wish I could ignore like a system in particular. Um, all right, and then I want nanotubes. Just out like this. And this needs to come out. This needs to come out. And then the trickiness here. So I want this to go back in. Of course, it's gonna. I'm gonna put this on an interstellar station. Maybe this should be an interstellar station just on its own. And it's just focused on proliferator juice, or maybe maybe we're just we're gonna move it to a, an an interstellar station that has room for it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, but what's gonna happen? I want to split, and then I want to make one of these juice sprayers, right? Um. Tyler, where do these, are these logistics? There we go. Spray coater. Let's make a handful. I'm gonna have this come out and go in. 
So then I'm going to put a spray coater on top of... Does it matter which way? I guess not. And then this is going to come out and then go into itself. Oh no, is that too... Like that. And then this is going to prioritize that side. So that we spray the proliferators with the proliferators. And this goes out like that. It's just gonna hold a whole bunch, yeah? Okay. So then there they go. And they're getting they're getting sprayed with themselves. Okay, cool. And then we can see. This has four proliferator points. Proliferator effect, one item, extra products, plus 25%, production speed up, plus 100%. Yeah. Because, like, if you look at it before... Yeah, yeah, okay. So you can see like this bottom section here, proliferator point zero, when this item is used as a raw material and sprayed with proliferator, you can choose between gaining extra products or production speed up. My understanding from the wiki, does it say like, so it has 60 uses, but with a proliferator it has 75 uses. So if you proliferate the proliferator, you get more proliferation. Hooray. Um, so then, yeah, this is going to accept Mark Three Juice, and it's going to supply. And it's going to do that forever. And who knows how fast these will all actually need to go. Might as well. Might as well. And you can see even on the little cube, they have the little proliferator mark on them. That's cool. Cool. You're all, you're all doing fine. I think that's gonna be fine. I think that's fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna proliferate. Um, so let's find... If they're, they're gonna hit it again, they're just gonna do it right away. We need, we need to make sure that we're okay out there and that they have missiles. Um... But we have an interstellar station with open spots. I mean, there's this. This is going to be for batteries. But it's clearly not been an issue. But I would like to, I would like to not, not over leverage that. Um, like this one is probably a bit better. The fact, oh, we're not getting, no, we are. Okay, so we're using... We're using all of our all of our ships there. We probably need a second sh a second place just to receive deuterium. This one, however, I think this will be fine. This is gonna local demand and remote supply. Just have some. That should be fine. Um. Yeah. Do I? I need. We need to not run out of deuterium. It seems like local demand, even. Um, I don't know if I have any other interstellar stations that I'm comfortable putting another high, high traffic thing in. Like all of these, like that's using all of its ships. That's using basically all of its ships. I think we need another station just for more deuterium and hydrogen. 
He was doing nothing but that, and it's not going to be enough. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it like 50%. Not that that's, that clearly doesn't help. Uh, but making another station is going to be a thing. Maybe that's a later thing. I don't know. I do want to go back to our... I want to go back to our sphere planet and, and get and make sure that they're actually getting missiles. I guess we can make sure that missiles are being made now. Hopefully our uh, processors are doing better. Maybe. I mean, they have they have circuit boards at the very least. That seems better. And this is all going, right? They're all working. Oh, they all just left. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make another of these with steel. I guess I can check on our missile production from here. Well, we made some. Is that... Is that all we could make? Dope. Oh, need more of those. Always. Maybe the black hole is going to happen. I think the black hole needs to happen sooner rather than later. Because this is going to hold us back for a while, I think. Okay, so I'm going to make one of this. And this is literally just going to be for getting hydrogen and deuterium. And, this, and like, this one is also that. It's literally just... Uh, doing deuterium locally. So two whole, two whole stations, literally just for uh, our our hydrogen and deuterium. Which I guess can't be that big of a surprise, right? It is a very very important thing. Um, so let's just plop. I mean, this could go, this could go literally anywhere. I just want it to be close. I'll put it here. It doesn't even need to hook into anything, right? It just, it literally needs power and space warpers. And, and that's it. It's gonna be hydrogen, deuterium, local supply, remote, remote demand. We're gonna get 10 ships. And, and 50. Or 80? Okay. Um, I don't think they need that many. Do let's do 50. I mean it's so close. It's it's literally right there. See, we'll <laughs> make sure that that works. Um, but then you also need to just take in uh, space warpers. And now they're attacking again. It looks like we have a lot more hydrogen than deuterium, so I think we're gonna have to put down more of those collectors. We might be harvesting all we're collecting. 72 units? Oh no. Yeah, we need to we need to make sure that we're making missiles. Definitely need to be making missiles. 
Ugh, and they're, yeah, they're hitting our signal towers. And they're not dying. I think that's a problem. Yeah. Oh, well, there they go. I wonder what it is that's destroying them if it's not missiles. One left. There we go. Okay. Well, we defended, but they blew up more of our stuff. They keep succeeding in blowing up our stuff, and we've made 36 missiles. That's going to be because of the processors. Goodness. And that's going to be like it, right? It's literally just the processors. Circuit boards are fine now. Circuit boards are fine now. Maybe we just need another another row, another chain of processor makers. Cause we're like we're making enough of this stuff, right? what I need to do. I think I just need to copy and paste. I think I just need a whole a whole dang stack. Uh, and then clearly this can be better. We can just have like one feed into one and the other feed into the other, I guess. Uh, and then I need circuit boards coming out. And then that just goes back in. Oh, it even copies, it even copies the settings on the chess. Huh. I'm not sure I ever processed that before. I think what I should do, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a splitter going here, just to try and make sure that these two sides are balanced at all times. Um, can I, I do this in an N and then you you're going out and then you're going like this like of course I don't know if that can supply. Like, I don't know what the throughput of a splitter like this is. Maybe it's okay. Um, I guess we'll see once I get all the things made. Uh, we have nanotubes, so that's good at least. Because there's also these pilers, which I've honestly never done anything with. I wonder how pilers interact with sorters. Pile sorter can integrate multiple cargos into one and feed it out. Even it is slightly expensive, but is a good deal for those engineers who are dedicated to run the conveyor belt at full speed. Yeah. Hey, it takes processors. I mean, it seems to be doing okay so far. Yeah. 
cheese. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it seems fine. I'm not prioritizing anything, it's just... I just want to keep them all packed, right? Oh, do I need any better sores in here? Oops, I missed one. And then... Yeah. Okay. So that, I mean, that seems to be doing fine. They all have, they have all their things. Of course, we're not like operating at full capacity just because we don't have our power. That might change. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it. Um, I can put, I guess I can just toss that in there. That's fine. Okay, um, so we're making proliferators. We've researched a bunch of things. I want to make, I want to make my drones, right? I want to make attack drones. Hey, look, they take processors. What if I just do, I do this and then they'll, we'll just collect a bit, right? Oh, I can make, I can make a bunch already, okay. How many can I hold? My ground fleet can hold eight. I'm gonna attack, set it to attack drones, right? Looks like there's space for four more, which might be what this is, honestly. So if I could get 12 of them. Uh, so we'll just do another, another two. Then maybe they'll just show up in here? No? How do I want attack drone? Where are you? Here you are. Can I just put you in there? There we go. Okay. And then it'll it'll just kind of replenish itself. Perfect. Okay, so that's I mean that's one thing, right? Got some got some backups. We have our space fleet. We have our ground fleet. Um, our ground fleet is potentially gonna get bigger and then we'll have the things to put in there when that happens. So that's all good. Um, the other thing I want is those laser turrets. Hey, okay, cool. Let's just build, let's just build a stack of them. Then what did I drop? Oh, I dropped my coal. I said delete the coal. Whatever. There we go. Okay, so we're I mean we're at half power and they're still they're still doing fine. I'm just gonna assume that this is fine. Hopefully those make it over to I mean that does look better. Hopefully they're making it over to our missile production. gonna attack again yeah we need to get rid of that base <laughs> we need to we need to kick them out um and then where here the processors oh but I turned it on to storage I need to turn that off storage so that the processors actually go places because that would be bad to just leave and have the processors not go anywhere. Yeah, supply, please. It does look a bit better. I mean, we got... We got full, um... 
Or no, not full anymore, but I guess we backed up a little bit. Whatever. Okay, and then, okay, at 100%, are you all still fine? You're all still fine. Look, you got all your stuff. Very, very cool. Um, I probably want a couple more signal towers just to have. I just want to make I just want to make sure that missiles are going to get made. If we run out of missiles, then bad things happen. There we go. Okay. So now now missiles are going to get made. Even going to do 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 do. Okay. Now let's go back. Once again, um, I have, I have my stuff, I have my stuff, um, I might even grab more missiles just for me, do this, I really don't want to run out, and then hopefully by the time we get back out there, some missiles will have shown up there as well. Let's go to the inner planet. I guess, can I make like more ray receivers while I'm here? I don't want to make, I don't want to make unnecessary trips, right? If I could just plop down ray receivers every time we go out and we'll, hopefully we'll keep up. This all looks great though. And then I need all the things. Alright, that's over here. Oh! That's also getting used. Good. Uh, we have photon combiners. And I have my junk. Yes, that all seems fine. You... There we are. We can make five. That's fine. That's something. Come on. Alrighty. And now they're attacking right now. 90 units? 90 units? All at once. Well, hopefully we're bringing enough firepower to, to kick their butt this time. I'm gonna run to the bathroom while we're, you know, in space. Um, and then we're gonna hopefully kick some butt. I'm returned. We have five light years away this time. We can usually get within three. That's interesting. Um, 
Oh, was it because I was using inferior fuel? How many cats? Oh, you're right. You're not asking me. <laughs> Can I litter in space? I littered in space. Oh, it's like right here. Weird. Weird. <laughs> You didn't ask me questions. I mean, I was just confused because you I'm pretty sure you already know how many cats I have You can ask me questions if you want though Look at all our ships. Look at all our ships just traveling back and forth Hopefully these are doing good things You have two correct You win a hairball one that likes to be on stream and one that doesn't. I am sure Sybil would love to be on stream if it were like more possible for her. She she just can't get like she's physically unable to get up in our face the same way Sub uh, Jezebel can. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get closer this time. There we go. Yep, and we're gonna we're gonna get there this time, I think. There, that one. There, perfect. Oh look at this! Oh, we're still making great progress. We have to cross we have to cross the width of our sphere. But you know. And they're they're forty four percent of the way to attacking again, and they're level three. The space hive is level three. That is terrifying. Like the more the more dangerous they become, the more tempting it's going to be to try and attack the hive directly. But also now it's a level three hive. Look at all this stuff they have on our planet. Are they on? They got. They're on this planet too. We're gonna have to kick them off twice. We should probably like. Maybe I should kick their butts on those other planets too. Or no, two. Two is us. They might not be on two. But we should go kick their butts over here too, just to like deny them a bunch of resources. So that they'll be they'll be less able to do stuff against us, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, look at this. I think this is cool. Okay. A building has been destroyed by dark fog. It has it now. Engineer. Oh, yeah, they have they have blown up a couple things now, haven't they? Uh, do I not have items are available in your inventory? Alternatively, you can press X to complete dismantlement. Hold left mouse. Oh weird, because we're making it. Ha ha ha. Okay. Can press X to completely dismantle it. Got it. Okay. There we go. Let's just, uh... Oh, did they disconnect? Did they disconnect our chargers? Oh, they attacked a bunch of stuff out here. No, I think... I think our chargers are in the other direction. That's a... Okay, this all seems fine. But they could theoretically, if they just blew up this power connection, I guess, I think it's all shielded, right? But of course, ground forces can do whatever the, they want. So it's at least shielded from the air. Um, and then there's all sorts of stuff on the other side. 
Okay. Do we have missiles? I do not see missiles. Oh, but they're incoming. Okay, we have missiles incoming. So mostly we're just gonna wait for them to show up. Planes? Weird. Uh, but they only have they only have the one thing here, right? Let's go see if we can repair some of these things. It's the very least keeping all of these geothermal things going helps with our power. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, they're, they've they've probably completely replenished. Okay, so now everything that's broken is not on this planet. Got it. I just want to make sure we have missiles before I start poking them. Oh, and proliferators. I want to bring in proliferation juice. Um, does not need to be a lot. It's going to be remote demand. There we go. Um, and then I think what, how this works is we're going to spray the dead batteries, right? I think we're going to do spray coater something like that and something like that and then the juice comes out and goes in and then I'm even just gonna have it go uh, up and over right I think they just go through like that That's all we gotta do. Hopefully that does something. <laughs> we have this whole thing of charged batteries. Did we get our missiles? You all have, you have missiles, you have missiles. You just slurped them all up, didn't you? Oh, and there's like all these different firing modes. Relay station only, huh? Low air, oh, we can set their priority. Oh, interesting. I wanna target, like, I wanna prioritize the, um, the buildings. So there's single burst, group burst, plasma, planet bursts. You can put them in groups. I don't know what that means. And then there's the supernova. After accumulating turrets, we'll enter five second burst mode. When grid power supply is lower than 30%, it will switch off. Once it's enabled, click this button again to turn it off. Hmm. Oh, but I can, if I just set them to, oh, I see. So I can put them in groups and then I can have them burst as groups. I think I want them all to just planet burst. What is that? That set them all diff that set them all at the same time. Cool. Yeah, planet bursts. I think that makes sense. And then I just want to make sure that some of these missiles actually show up. It is quite the trip out here, isn't it? I don't know if I can see... I can't see what's on each of these ships. And some of them, they look like they're different color, vaguely. I don't know why... Maybe it's just my eyeballs. Uh, 
Um, I think this is probably going to have to be more like a 20% since we're running out of... We're using all of our ships and we're so far away from everything. What is that? What'd you bring me? Probably nothing. Bring me my missiles! What we should do... Oh, what about this? What if I make a little blueprint? Because if we want the... If we want the thing and the things and the thing... We should have, like... Power tower and... A signal tower... And a base and the turrets. Oh, you're like just outside. Fine, whatever. <laughs> right, and then that leaves me with a couple of extras. So then I'm going to turn that into a blueprint where I'm going to make sure that we have power on for all of them. And you are. Turrets. And then you're gonna look like a turret. Senior plasma turret. Uh, save. Okay. And then I can just remove all this. I guess I probably should have put stuff in in the building. Okay. Well, here's all our, here's our stuff. Cool. And look, the batteries are getting proliferated. And I don't think, like, the charged batteries don't get proliferated, but batteries. Production speed up. Only production speed up, but that's fine, right? I don't know if that gives, like, free power or anything, but we are, we're, we're charging batteries at 800 megawatts. And our thing, we're almost up to two gigawatts from our our thing. We're definitely going to put down more more ray receivers. Um, but I want to go, I want to kick butt first. Right, yeah, you're right here. So then we have a little backup station here. Uh, but I'm going to say, where's our, where's our turrets? It's going to be... This one and then I can just plop this down right I don't know I don't quite know what the range is so I'm kind of just gonna guess and so long as there's power getting there yeah look there we go and there's my fleet that looks better that looks a little better oh they're still gonna hit this so dang hard though but now we have a thing here that'll repair as well and grab all the loot. Holy cow. Yeah, I like this. Oh, and then where are all these coming from? Were you like out, <laughs> out patrolling? Holy cow. Uh, well, we have the power. Wow. Jeez, this whole inventory is just gonna fill up. <laughs> Well, I like these laser turrets. They seem to be helping. Okay, so then now, now that I have that kind of covering me, I can make sure that one of these has range on their base stuff, and it can be in our and it can be in our repair range. As long as we can repair it fast enough. Holy cow! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome in. We are kicking butt. Look at all this. They have gotten they have gotten a little big for their britches. 
This is a level six base. Oh, but we got their core. We finally got their core. Perfect. Now they will, now they will slowly go away. Once these are all dead, uh, I'm gonna show you our sphere. Cause we are, we're making great progress on our sphere now. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that up and put it back down over like, oh geez, way over here. And make sure it's getting power. You getting bugs? I mean, yes, we're, we're squishing some bugs. Look at them all! We have upgraded missiles now. All these missiles are... these are like the tier 2 missile. There, perfect. Got him. Did my fleet survive? I don't know that my fleet survived. Nope. Oh, well, we can have two different fleets now. That's cool. There's attack and then there's precision. These do... do 20. There's like 40. Yeah, I think there's there's both gonna be attack drones, I think. But we're gonna have to make more. We're gonna have to make like a factory that's making attack drones. Um oh, but now now I don't have enough steel to do that. Can I just fill it? There we go. That's fine. That is fine. They are gone now. And now this is gonna be full of crap, right? <laughs> What do I do with all this? Can I just... Oh, there's some steel. Tiny bit of steel. Oh no, there is a thing of steel. Aha! Now that I've already done the thing. Um, is there like a take all button? Or not? I'm not gonna be able to fit it. Uh, but we'll take up all of this stuff, right? That's all good. Um, what do I care about? Like the, the scrap stuff? I mean, I can, I can do it. It's not super important. Um, none of this is super, super high value. I don't think there's anything in here I would care to get rid of. Um, like this can go away. Probably don't need all that copper, but it it's I'll, it'll get used. Um, foundations I'll use. Titanium, why not? Coils, I'll probably use coils. Some of these will stack nicely, even. Um, but like this could even have defense stuff in it too. I think we're gonna have to do. I think we're gonna have to do a lot of it, like a bunch of attack drones. If I do that, then dismantle cause extra. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It's all just gonna go on the ground. And it goes away. That's fine. I don't care. But yeah, look. There's our sphere. <laughs> There's the start of our sphere. It's gigantic. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. So we have we have the solar sails getting launched from our other planet out there. And then they all kind of they go in orbit and then they all kind of form into these nice little orderly lines. And they all kind of march into these little into the little corners. You can see them. And they'll plug into the nodes and then they just kind of grow out these panels. So sorry, I went for a walk right before you said that. I've got two cats. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. So now... Yeah, look at that. And now we got like... It's just all these proliferated accumulators. Very, very cool. So if I look at... Yeah, so the the full thing still has still has an accumulator on it. Cool, or a, a proliferator on it. 
Um, these are charging not quite at their full capacity, so we can receive more rays. Not that we have a ton of receivers on us right now, but I want to keep lugging them in. Got what, two more? And then our our shield. Yeah, we got we got plenty of room in here. Perfect. So now we are accumulator charging at 800, 150. We're we're gonna need so much more. We need so much more of everything. Um. What? I think this planet is now safe, right? Um, so I want to make sure, like, I don't think there's anything on this planet. I want to go out, I want to go check out here. We haven't landed on these other two outer planets yet. Of course, putting down, we have to put down a whole interstellar station just to get batteries and missiles and stuff, which I don't have on me. That's going to be a little harder than I want it to be. So I could just do one. Is that a terrible idea? Is this is this an awful waste of resources? I don't know, if we blow up their stuff, it's probably worth it. I wanna break their toys! So they don't break my toys. like I also want to go out to this black hole don't I now is it from here it's 35 from here so it's closer if we go back home okay I mean if I put like a little defensive fortress out here right that'll kind of draw their attention whoop hi Oh, oh boy. Hi, I did not mean to land right in the middle of y'all. Hello. Oh, it's like an ice planet. Feel bad for missing streams recently, but work has been crushing me. Missed starting the sphere. Don't worry about it. Don't don't feel bad for missing anything. Um, for one, if you ever really care that much, you can go back and watch all of the VODs on YouTube. Everything goes up on YouTube. Um, and there's there's two level three bases here. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, but also you do you. This is not. I don't take attendance. Um. Oh, but I don't have like the actual missile launchers, do I? I can plop this down. Can I? I can make some. Thanks for all that steel we got. <laughs> oh, but the battery dischargers, I'm not going to be able to do that. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't going to quite work. Let's, I'm going to, we'll do this some other time. I want to be able to do this properly and not just waste all of our resources. Undo. Undo. Uh, but we'll, we'll come back with proper resources and... and Set up little defensive structures on these planets. Um, okay, so let's go. Let's go home. Do I want to be here instead of sleeping because of yeah, because of work. <laughs> I totally get that. Um. But yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes doing what you need to do means doing the boring things. And, and I'll be here for all the other times. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go home. I think that's going to be the smart thing. We're going to go home and we're going to grab everything we need to set up shop out on that black hole. I think that's going to be the next thing we do. You wanna see a black hole? Let's go see a black hole. That's cool.
Uh, can probably do some more research. Planet shield, good. Things not dying as fast. Super massive, it is super massive. Try not to get sucked in. These are all, all greens for, for that, okay. Well, attack speed and damage, we can do those. And we're not doing EM weapons. Maybe that's a thing we should do, um, like jammer towers. I mean, we just, I just didn't research it, right? Does these take like ammo, jamming capsule? A, a capsule of jam? Muse playing your head immediately, exactly, yeah. That'll be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. And I'm not mad about it. And see, I don't know if I care about like the plasma turrets or space only, right? These are only versus space. Plasma capsule, but then these SR plasma turrets are ground and air. Okay, okay, so there's two different versions, I see. Maintaining such a device on the ground is not easy to be able to attack nearby targets. Constantly maintaining the excited plasma makes this facility very fragile and requires a large amount of power. Hmm. And then they also take the energy capsule as ammo. Or no, that's... Which one's energy? Well, let's, let's, let's research it. I'm also, we also want to get, I mean, this takes greens, but there's a third tier of missile. Of course it takes like, ugh, that's going to be, that's going to be painful. Shooting people with, with strange matter. Um, and I'm going to grab this too, actually. A baseball scene from Twilight. <laughs> I, so I have not seen enough Twilight to actually know about the actual scene you're talking about. <laughs> I'll admit, uh, I kind of skipped those. Um, and the thing about these, we'll see if those work the way they, that I want them to. Um, but in theory, you can power stuff from little orbiter things and not need to run, uh, like power conduits all the way across the planet. And then there's like, there's all this other stuff. Crystal explosive unit. Oh, that's what this is. Ooh. That's also going to be painful. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely need to go get our, um, our magnetic monopoles. Wait, are Dyson Sphere program and Twilight secretly connected? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, we're not even going to make it, are we? I know Twilight vampires don't burn in the sun, but still, it's true. Maybe that's the whole point, right? Maybe, maybe they got a Dyson sphere around the sun, so and that's what protects them. I think this makes sense. Of course, that wasn't enough. Oh, are you finally awake? Hi. This <laughs> is like, what's going on? They reflect light too. True. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all sparkly, right? Shiny vampires. Hi. Did I wake you? Um. And then, like, once we get these kinds of things sorted out, I would love to get white cubes going. Because we're going to need white cubes in order to be able to make it to our our place in one hop. And I would really like to be able to make it in, very, in one hop. Are each vampire secretly a very tiny Dyson sphere? Yes. I think that makes sense. Um, but in order to get white cubes, we're going to need antimatter. We're going to take green cubes just to research. 
Um, but then we're going to need critical photons. Grammar broke? Grammar's always broke. Um, but like the, the energetic photons we also get from the ray receivers, which means we're going to need to be sufficient on power before we start collecting them, I think. Because um, every, every ray receiver we put on critical photon duty is going to be one that's not giving us batteries. Uh, what? Ha Caps lock. Oh, whew, that was close. We need we need white cubes before I can upgrade our power circuit anymore. Okay, here we are once again. Um, all our stuff is good, I think. Um, I mean, really, what I need to do is we need to be making a couple more. We need to be making the stuff that we need for another re remote base. How's our processors? Hey, look, processors. I'm going to grab a bunch of these since I'm always needing more. I think we fixed that one. Um, how's our power? Power's fine. As long as we have batteries, our power is fine. I think everything is possible in the Twilight Universe. Everything? That's a tall claim. If vampires are Dyson Spheres, then what are werewolves? Oh, this is even... Wow. We're actually not as bad on these as, as we were. That is... That is surprising. Why are we not using those? We should be cranking through those. Bugs? The bugs are the werewolves? <laughs> we have We have batteries coming in. Oh, but these are the things I need, right? I want... I want a bunch of these. Um, so I have... I have the station. I need some more of these, which require steel. Dogs. <laughs> this game doesn't have dogs. Not, like, explicitly, I guess. Oh, we're good on diamonds. That's good. Uh, where's my steel? And you, you are Bella, crushing little bug Jacob Hart. <laughs> I'll take that. I crush the bugs. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do three of those. Um, and then I need more, more missile launchers. Then is that all you need for our interstellar station? Um, right, those are those are the only two things I'm missing. <laughs> um, and then I have I have the miners. I have I have power junk. I think that's gonna be all I need. I think that's going to be all I need. And I have the ships. I, I have some ships. Is this all still going? We still, we're still burning deuterium. Oh, and then how's our new... How are you doing? You're like full of, full of stuff. Perfect. And you're full of stuff. Great. Great, great, great. Yeah, look at all that. Okay. I want, I want like one of these. There. Okay. Um, and then like the like all of that is fine. Our 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 space warpers are fine. I'm just gonna grab a couple more. I definitely don't want to run out. We're good. 
Can't stop imagining Dyson Sphere with surface looking like stretched out sparkling <laughs> sparkling Pattison's face. <laughs> you can do so I haven't messed with it yet. Um, but in the designer here, there's a way to paint. How do we paint? Do it is it just How do I how do I say what it what color it is? Oh here, color. Oh we could make it green! I think we're gonna make it green. Something like that. Yeah. Oh and I can make I can do all the all the lines too. Ha 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 ha. But it looks like we can change the the color of it after the fact, right? I don't need to do it before it's getting built. Can I just do... That's grid painting. I want to do... Oh, interesting. Oh, in... oh, I see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's an eraser and then... Okay. Maybe I'll just do... I'm going to do the panels themselves. are going to be green. Because they can be. Um... Right? Oh, I want to say super brightness. I want to want to make a big brush, right? I'm just gonna do. Oh, I'm I see. Ha 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 ha. Can I just do a? I still want to want to do a flood. That's not. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm not gonna sit here and do all of it, but I do. I do like the green. <laughs> but this means if you got fancy enough to put in these these frame lines in the shape of a face, then you could color the face. Uh, the, you, that would not be actually that hard to do. Come on. Green! I think that's good enough. There. It's green now. <laughs> um, Alright, so then I think we're gonna go out to our black hole. Which was which one? It's this one. So, oh and of course there is a hive here. And there's only the one planet, because that's how... They do have two hives. Space Hive Duo! Oh no! Uh-oh. Um, so we're gonna have to kick their butt. They're, they probably got quite the operation here. Planet Glaceon? Well then, uh, this, these look quite established. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. This is the only black hole in our in our map, and it is going to be very useful. Well, now I have a goal that justifies buying the game, even though I have plenty of others I don't play. It's true. Now, now you have a reason to spend to put a hundred hours into making a gigantic face. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go. Nope, come on. Got to get out of our gravity well here. Go. Cool. I know what you are. Say it. A Dyson sphere. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So if it's twenty light years away, I think we can get close in one hop. I don't think we're gonna need two. That's ridiculous. There we go. Oh, I should have made more more drones. I wonder if I can. I can make a drone. We should make... I'm going to make a, a little factory that's making attack drones so that we can just replenish every time we come back home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
gonna be close it's gonna be close enough mm, it's not quite close enough I don't that's a little far to just do on normal power and then we're gonna have to wait for just enough power to do a tiny little hop that's annoying don't even is that our black hole now? That's our black hole there. We're not quite close enough to see to see it. Um, but they look cool. You will see. Like we need like a minimum power just to start. That might be enough. That might get us there. At least, yeah, close enough. That's good enough. There we go. And look, the hive is gonna be right in our way. But look, a black hole. We're not gonna touch the black hole itself. <laughs> we're we're going to a planet that is orbiting the black hole. The fact that they have two hives out here is awfully cool. I hope we don't have to cross through it. I think it's going to cross before we get there. I have to 70% threat on our on our Dyson Sphere system again. Uh, no, I want it to be I want it to be pinned. Black hole, son. It is cool. It has it has like that interstellar effect, right? I think the way they did it is interesting. I like. I mean, I love the way it looks. I think if it were technically correct, it would look the same from any direction. Like this is a. You know, we're seeing like a plane like this and then kind of a bulge like this. I think no matter what direction you looked at it, it would be like a, a plane and then a 90 degree plane facing you. I think that's how it would look. It does look really cool. I I mean, it is it is nearly scientifically accurate. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's perfect. We can, I mean, we could get a little closer. Yeah, you see how it's like, it's just, it's just a 3D model that we're kind of going around, right? I think it should look like this, essentially like this from every angle. Because what's happening is like, we're seeing the disc in the front, but then in, around here, we're seeing, we're seeing the disc that's on the back, but we're seeing it, the light being bent around it. Yeah, it should look like that from basically every angle. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe, I don't know, is it turning with us? I think the disc has like, like the disc exists, right? It is a two-dimensional two disc that's orbiting around the black hole. But then you can see around the black hole to the and see the disc on the other side. Like everything that's behind the disc, we're seeing on the top and bottom here. That's how it works. Like vampires, yeah, like 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 vampires. <laughs> now that you think about it, we can't really get photos of black holes because they don't reflect light. It's true. You get photos of all the junk orbiting around the black hole. <laughs> Everything's connected. So then, what's the black hole? Oh, look at all these bases. Oh God. Oh God. 
one, two, three, four. There's... I don't think that it's even showing them all. Number 13, number 14? Wow. Well, they're all level zero at least. Um, and I want to see where is our stuff. We're looking for a specific vein, right? A unipolar magnet. There is 1.1 million unipolar magnets here. And that's what I care about. There's a bunch of fire ice and fractal silicon. I actually care about those too, but it's so far away. Here we go. Oh, and it's, that's all of them. That's the whole vein right there. Look, we landed right next to it. This is all of them right here. This is what I care about. The rest of this planet, they can have. As long as they aren't touching that, I don't care. Uh, but I am gonna, I am gonna, I am gonna kick their butt a bit. Um, I just don't wanna get, I just don't wanna get needlessly close, right? Just do something like this, no. Why collide with object? Is it they're just too you need to face like a certain direction? Yeah, okay. Something's up with my blueprint. I think things are a little too close on the blueprint. Um oh, but this needs to be this needs to be the supersonic missiles. Uh remote demand. Then we'll put that in there. Um, I'll feed it a couple of space warpers. I guess I should have kept a couple for that matter. Uh, just pop that in. Oh, now space warpers are coming. That's fine. Um, but we're gonna have to wait for batteries and missiles to show up. So then if I put, yeah, they're all on planet bursts. Cool. And then, and then we're just gonna wait for, for batteries to show up. Boy. Oh, but we're getting these. So hopefully, hopefully batteries show up. Um, but then I need to harvest these. literally the whole reason we're here. Did that get all of them? Yeah, it got all of them. Okay. Batteries, please. Batteries would be great. Don't need, I don't need that many missiles. I just, I just need batteries. In theory, I could leave and these would just start producing, but I don't, I don't want to just trust it. I could make, I could do, um, can I make a couple little fusion things? Not really. Come on. How is our power? We're charging at 900 megawatts and we're discharging at one gigawatt. So actually these, these two numbers are quite close actually. 
closer than they were. And this is much more stable. This this tells me that batteries are actually making it to all the places they need. Except for, you know, here. Oop, there's space warpers. But without the batteries, they're not gonna do anything. at like charged accumulators is that its own thing yes we are consuming them What, what's the holdup? I guess, uh, whatever. The dead ones, I don't, like, can be whatever, but... Okay, so we have missiles. <laughs> Just need power. Cool. Do I just keep... Do I just keep researching? At least do all the things that don't take greens. But like, I don't, I don't care about this. Hydrogen and coal to refined oil, subjecting it to a greater quantity of oil can be produced. Hooray, whatever. That's fine. Um, this is like an upgraded EM weapon thing. Slow and even suppress enemies. I mean, it's cool. I mean, might as well. Uh, that's gonna take greens. And there's like upgraded production buildings. Yeah, all these. That takes greens. They're not bad. So that's everything that doesn't take greens. Antimatter capsule. It's an it's an energy. It's an energy damage weapon that takes antimatter. Wow. Um, so that takes greens, that takes greens. Night, nighty night, thanks for hanging out. Um, I think, I think things are progressing nicely. Um, oh, and no, no stream on Saturday. Um, I'll be out of town on Saturday, so I'll see you on Monday for more, more sphere. That's green, that's green. It's just, it's all greens now, right? Have a good time? I will. We're gonna get, get out of town for a little bit. Those are all greens. I mean, we can do... I might as well, right? At this point. And that's gonna be all greens. That's all greens. And then... And then, yeah, we'll do that too, but... But that's fine. We have batteries yet? Nope. Hmm... I wonder if it's just because our like our ships are all being used or elsewhere. Like, how do I fix that? If I can't make, if I can't make a a thing, do I just leave and assume that it'll it'll figure itself out? We aren't we aren't generating threat because we're not actually doing anything, right? We won't. I don't think we'll generate threat until uh, until we're actually powered. Um, there is silicon. There's fractal silicon. I am mm, that's tempting, but we can get fractal silicon much closer. I think we're gonna we're just gonna do the magnetic monocoils here. There's something literally right there. Wow. And fire ice. Apparently black holes are good for all this exotic junk. Um. And 
I see? Can I see our black hole from here? Where's our... Where's our black hole sun? Realistically, there sure is a lot of light here for, for being orbiting a black hole. Look at that. Ain't that cool? How do I get rid of... There we go. That's cool. That's cool. Still nothing? Still nothing. Why can't I... Or can I just do... If I do this... Because it's obviously it's not going to be the ones from here that are doing it, right? Because I need I need something from somewhere else to come here. I think I'm going to leave against better judgment. And kind of assume... <laughs> Things will work. Um, can we? Well, there's all of our, our home systems and junk. There's also this. I'm gonna turn this one, this indicator on. How far is that? There's 24 light years. Let's head back home. What would I do? It's just a matter of, like, we just need... We just need more power, that's all. We're up to two gigawatts. Um... Oh, we should be proliferating our, our solar sails. That's a thing. We can do that at home. Since we're all just going from one place to another. The batteries are, like, everywhere, but... I mean, now we're only requesting, like, half of what our sphere can do. So maybe we just... We need to go home and make more ray receivers. I think that's where we're at. We just need more... Just need more power. Everywhere. Forever. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna assume that that will be fine. Um, I'll set up a way for it to be received back home. So that when it turns on, it'll, it'll just go. And look, they're gonna, they're gonna do a space attack again. I think if we, we go home, make a bunch more ray receivers, and some battery chargers, and then go back out. Uh, I think... I think that'll put us in a de decent spot, because... Because our Dyson Sphere is getting two, two gigawatts at this point. But, like, our, our entire star cluster is only, do, only needing 1.2. We've, we've consumed 100 terajoules. That's a lot. Like, we're, we're discharging at a gigawatt. We're charging at 900. I just, I want, I need the charging to be above the discharging. That's, that's really all it is. Oh. That got us pretty close. Get all of our ships. We have so much activity now. That's cool. You can see like their little flash as their warp turns on. <laughs> That's cool. And then where's... 
Where's our black hole? It's over this way. It's over that way. I'm still not seeing any any ships. I'd especially love to see something going like from here to here, right? to the wrong or no that's right yeah okay <laughs> like is this is my ice planet no we're going the right way yeah look at all this activity it's like a whole whole beehive here I love it I love it. Oh, they have a base. There's a base here. Look, they've made another geothermal well for us. Out right over by our proliferators. <laughs> oh, did I, did I limit these? I did not limit these. We should limit most of these. This is, that's just going to keep going, but I think maybe something like this. Like these don't need to be anything. Yeah, we can stop making those. That is fine. They stack up to 200 even, geez. Can I just kick your butt with what I have on me yet? Just my missiles? Still in range? How am I still in range of those turrets? Oh, hey, look, I have a boat. I have a. I have a ship. <laughs> there we go. Turrets, please. I wish I could like call targets for my missile to my missile launchers. Like tar target that turret, please. I feel like are we firing all of our missile turrets? I feel like we're missing some missile capacity here. Stop it! Leave me alone! Just die in peace. I wonder if you can launch an alpha strike against the space hive with the plasma turrets. That'd be a good, good thought. Like they... I wonder how close... Like the actual hive buildings would have to be for them to be in range of ground turrets. There we go. Of course, they keep blowing up my stuff.
Okay. Just more, more geothermal for me. Which we need. <laughs> Forever and always. Um... Oh, did we finally get through all of that? We finally got through all of that. I feel like these could just be upgraded to tier 2 assemblers at this point. Oh, but space, these are, so solar sails are also used for the rocket. So I should only put proliferators on the ones we're actually launching. So maybe the, so maybe the juice needs to go out there too. Okay, I think, I think we'll call that good. I think I'm just gonna go. Oh, the 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 magnets, right? We need to receive the things that we just did. Maybe that'll come here. Since this is clearly fine, the combination of these two are are working out. I think. Yeah. Look at all that. Holy cow. We have some deuterium. Um. So you're going to receive unipolar magnet. Local supply, remote demand. Someday. And then those get used for these, which, like, clearly now they're fine. But I think what I'm gonna do is make, like, a second... Like, a second production line? Because now, because it's a different number of... of ingredients, right? Uh... Normally it's three, and then here it's two. So yeah, I'm gonna make a different, different thing. An assembler with two. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Is that what I'm gonna do? Maybe I'll put it down here. I think this makes sense. And at some point I can replace. I can like get rid of these two lines once we've transferred over. Uh, but then that means this needs to receive the thing, right? Maybe... Maybe it just needs to go elsewhere. Need more iron. The fact that this is, like, fine now... <laughs> Almost annoying. Uh, grab some iron and some steel. It might have been too much iron. Um, do I have... Is there anything with... I mean, if it's just being received right there, maybe I'll just <laughs> I'll just route it over. That's fine. This is our things. And this is just gonna go like that. And then just needs copper. Like that. And then someday that will turn on, maybe. Select this special recipe. Ha. 
So that'll that will change at some point, but like we need to we need them to show up for that to actually work. But now they have a place to go at least. Um, now I just want to make a bunch of these. That need no, it needs. Where was I doing? There was something needing those over here. Right, yeah, here we are. There, ten more. Yes, please. Grab, let's grab more steel. I'm sure I'm going to need a bunch. Look how nice and glowy everything is, though. Maybe those should get proliferated. This is all... that's all still fine, right? They're still all... they're still all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, clearly I need some more conveyor belts. Good. I mean, you're... Yeah, these are packed conveyor belts. Wow. 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 Come on, more. When I say more, I mean more. Well, let's, we can grab processors. I'm spending less time going to production lines and going, why is this out? So that's going to be another 30 ray receivers. So now I just want a bunch more battery collectors, battery chargers as well, uh, which is titanium alloy and steel and processors. Is that steel right there? That's steel right there. I'm gonna steal the steel. And more processors. Oh, and, and ships. Yeah, I need to do that too. Falling asleep, so good night. Okay, good night. Uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for coming back. Um, I will be back streaming this on Monday and and Thursday, and, and we're going to keep going until the sphere can't get no bigger. So yeah, have a good, have a good weekend. I just, yeah, I had just processors. We need processors forever. So that's going to be 10 more energy exchangers. I think that's probably good. That's another 500 megawatts of, of battery charging capacity. So that's probably, probably a good start. Um, 
Thanks for the stream. I'm glad I could at least see the super massive black hole. Yes. It's, we we got sucked into a super massive. Now that is one of the more the more memorable parts of this game. I think um, I really like the black holes, and the, you only get the one. That's the only black hole in this game. Um, ships. I want to make more. I want to make more attack drones. Can I? Can I just? Crank them out. Oh jeez. That's so. It's such a. I wanna. We'll make a factory for them, but that might be next time. Can't wait to see more of the Dyson Sphere. Yeah, totally. And it's gonna be green. There's nothing more green than just taking energy directly from the sun, right? <laughs> Have a good weekend. Yeah, thanks. You too. Um. Like this is all fine. Could probably put down more, more of these. But like, even still, we're we're getting more batteries. That's still bringing us to 100. That is. Yeah, look at that. And we're we're a little over half of our capacity for, for the dischargers, so that's a good sign. This part is working, at least. Um, let's make sure we're good. I think we're good. I'd love to have more missiles, but whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go out and we're gonna put down all of these more all of these new receivers and chargers. And that should put us in good shape, I think. Alright. Hello creature, one second. Hi, I said one second. You have no patience, do you? Just wait until I'm warping, jeez. There we go. I'm here. Meh. Meh. Can you imagine having a cat in deep space? You're like mid warp, 20 light years from anything, and the cat's like, I want out. Please let me out. Speaking of, I am gonna run to the restroom just real quick while we're while we're warping and recharging. Uh, but again, I will be right back. Okay, back. Hi. Here we are in empty space once again, charging our batteries. I wonder, oh, could we proliferate our fuel rods? Maybe that would be a good idea. When used as fuel, it generates extra energy. We should be proliferating our deuterium fuel rods. Hi. You've been so cute up there all day. 
Uh, I mean, what else is... What else would be cool to proliferate? Um, like, obviously, most things are gonna give, like, a production increase, right? For their, their subsequent things. I wonder, do missiles get proliferated? Extra products. You can choose between extra products or production speed up. Okay. So, but that would be for, like, if you're making the, the one tier up of missiles. It wouldn't... It wouldn't make the existing missile set better. It would it would help it for for the next production steps. Hey, look! It happened. We've collected a unipolar magnet, a treasure of the universe. Features a pyrochlor lattice and separable magnetic monopoles under the effect of the magnetic field. Okay. Mumbo Jumbo. In the category of things that don't actually exist. But it worked. We got batteries shipped out there. We have collected uh, the unipolar magnets. And now we will hopefully be able to ship them back to us. And that will just plug into our system. Fingers crossed. think what we've left out there won't be enough to defend from like 14 ground stations though oops uh, so we're definitely gonna have to go back and beef that up a bit yeah. for reals look at our sphere Can barely even zoom out more Look at it, though. Look at all that. Look at all that. That's so cool. We are, launch we are launching at a pretty good clip here. I do want to put down more, more launchers and such, but um, I want to get our power <laughs> sorted first. Wow, wow, wow. Hi. 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 Don't bite me. Okay. Ray receivers. Time to plop down a bunch of ray receivers. Two, three, four. One, two, three, I guess. So we'll do we'll do one more this way. I guess our shield is kind of the middle. Well. Shield is also the biggest. Maybe we'll we'll fill this circle. Because that's the most defended circle. The, the shield is huge. Yeah, that's huge. something get you're slightly off and I'm covered in cat fur there we go 
<laughs> Some rays. Eventually, we're just going to cover this whole half of the planet. It's just going to be ray receivers. <laughs> the other half is going to be battery chargers. Yeah, look at that. And now, what are we requesting? We're requesting 1.6. That's, I mean, that's a 60% increase over what we were doing just a second ago. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then I want to glance at these. These are probably, these are, they're charging faster than their rated power because of their accumulators. That's fantastic. But I'm, I'm going to assume that's probably their max? I don't know what their max is, if that's the case. Input power, 1.5 megawatts. Accumulated five... I don't know. I wonder what their max is now with the uh, with proliferators. I have no idea. Um, I'm just gonna copy. I think I want kind of this whole thing, right? Of course. What can I do like over here? Let's do over here. Except I'm gonna have to fill in stuff. Whatever. Um. I mean, these are not these are not high flow, right? We can just like, these are not even using the full capacity of a tier one belt, so we're just gonna make these longer. Let's do like this. Uh, I don't know how close. This close? That close? Maybe like there? No, or over there? No. What are you? What are you on about? Nope. Okay. Well, that's not where I wanted it. <laughs> Why did that work? There's something. There's something on the ground here. Oh, there might be a little hole there. Okay. There we go. Let's do like four. There we go. Splitters. I still have two more. Yeah. like further away though why are you that way
It is green. Look. Oh, it's it's so green. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, I've put down all our ray receivers and I put down all of our chargers. This all seems to be fine. All of our little leaked dis our uh, dead batteries in there sneaking in. That's totally fine. I'll just go in and look. Yeah, we're sending out the batteries. So now these are down to 40. Okay. So that means now we are charging 1.1 gigahertz and we're discharging 900 megahertz. Look at that. We are now charging more than we're discharging. And they're probably gonna still fluctuate a bit, but in principle, those two numbers match. And our, our charging is gonna keep going up as our ray receivers get more efficient. I wonder why that dipped. There is some fluctuation here. I'm not sure I understand that part. Oh, but that's charging, not necessarily like what we're re receiving, right? Um, like a local planet where our generation, yeah, is only going up. Okay. Okay. And now we're requesting 1.75 gigawatts. We're up to two and a half gigawatts generated. Very, very good. Very good. Okay. I think I'm satisfied. I think it's going to take a little bit for our charged batteries to kind of make it everywhere and balance everything out. But I think we're in better shape now. And we can still clearly get more... More ray receivers in here, right? Like, we're just going to... We're just going to keep making more. Um, at some point, some of these are going to turn in, go, they're going to switch over to photon generation mode. Um, but like, clearly we need at least this many just for power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're, they're launching. Oh yeah, that's why I was here. They're launching a space assault. Right here, right now. Okay. Who you attacking? You wanna you wanna come fight again? Just gonna be five more vessels. Oh look, you brought five more vessels. Is that going to one or two? I think they're going to two again. Yeah, they're going. They so they. They're specifically attacking the planet that is launching components. So I, th I think it is actual Dyson Sphere stuff that is, like, increasing the threat. Like, launching rockets and launching solar sails, I think that's what's doing it. Because the charging the batteries, they're not, they're not hitting that planet at all. Okay, well... Um, I still have my I still have my space fleet. Now I can have two two destroyers out at once. So that's cool. I have my missiles. I have my shields. That's all I had last time. Um, so let's I mean let's go let's go defend. Let's go make let's go kick their butts again. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, Dark Fog? Sweet, that means you can focus on making a good fortress there. It's true. It's true. If you know which one they're going to attack, you'll know which one you need to defend. There they are. There's just so many rockets and stuff in the air now. I'm going to get rid of... One. Just want to get rid of my indicator. Just, just real quick. Oh, hey, we're here. Oh, they're dead. Uh, I got them. Wow, really? 
they're dead. <laughs> Supersonic missiles seem pretty good. Where did my where did my planet go? Yeah, there's my ships. <laughs> And like when they come back, they get healed. Or at least they did last time. Maybe, maybe they'll get healed. I don't know. Hard to say. Um, but now I don't need to actually be here. <laughs> I came here. Oh, I want to do proliferators. I want to do proliferators here. Can I just get some? Yeah, let's just, let's just bring in some juice. Remote demand. Yeah, there you go. And then that's just... Because my understanding is... Well, it doesn't say it here. The wiki was saying that a proliferated solar sail gets launched faster. So maybe it's, maybe the sail, maybe the ejector is, is producing a launched sail or something. I don't know. Um, but the wiki said to do it, so I'm going to do it. I'm just going to say proliferator juice comes out. And I hope oh, that's just too fine like this. Like that. So there. Now we will proliferate our solar sails as they get launched. These are all just not like they're just at their pitch limit, right? Yeah. I'm curious why. I wish I knew more explicitly, like, how how those orbital kind of mechanics worked, because, like, it feels like they should have line of sight on a part of, of the, of the orbit, right? Because like, it's, like, it's going up and down. I wonder if it's just... It looks dang cool, though. I'll have to make more more rocket launchers and more rail ejectors now. I think now that our power is going to be a little, a little bit more sufficient. I think now we can start launching faster. Yeah, look at how many... Look at all these rockets. Look at all these rockets. rockets. Yeah, we need to be launching faster. We need to be launching faster. Like, I don't think... The wiki didn't say that it... That, that that proliferating on those does anything. I wonder... I wonder... Because if we could make them launch faster, that would be kind of great. I feel like I should just try. I feel like I should just do it and, and see what happens. Of course I can't right this moment, but whatever. And our power here... Still totally fine. We're probably gonna have to upgrade our power here at some point, but... For the moment, it seems fine. And these are the supersonic. Yep, perfect. Okay. Cool. I think we're gonna wrap up here. I think, I think we're making some great progress. And, and we're just gonna keep making more. The sphere grows. It just, it just gets bigger. Look at that. 
Look at that. Maybe we'll get more creative with our, our paint job, but... IDK. Okay. Um, that's it for today. Oh, look at the cat. She's all, she's all up there now. She, she went through a time of just not being up there at all for so long, and I don't know why. And now she's, and now she's up there again. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for, thanks for hanging out. Um, no, no stream on Saturday this week, but I will be back on Monday and Thursday of next week, and we're gonna keep going on the sphere till it's done. It's gonna be a little bit longer, but things things can things can start ramping up now. Um, I think our power is gonna be relatively secure. We're gonna make it even more secure. Um, we got our magnetic monopole, so that will help that process as well. There's a couple more exotic materials to do, but like it's get the list is getting shorter. Um, I think we can do we can help out diamonds and we can help out crystal silicon, which are both things we care about, but lower lower on the priority list i think um so i think i think we're getting there i think we're getting there um so come by come by next week and and we're just gonna we're just gonna keep pushing it gonna keep pushing further hooray um today's episode was brought to you by birds chirp chirp and by you clicking buttons chatting lurking hanging out joining the discord all that good stuff um that's that's my song right now and i'm gonna keep keep chirping um so i i appreciate you i appreciate all all the time that you're here and hanging out and keeping me company and and i will and i hope you have a good weekend see you later hope you stay kind <laughs>